Hello, my name is Andrew DeVito, and today I'm going to tell you about a web-based learning tool called Wattpad. Before I do, if you'd like to explore any of the references I've utilized to create this video, they can be found here. So what is Wattpad, you may be wondering? Well, Wattpad is an online story sharing platform that allows users to create stories and upload them in somewhat of a blog format for community review. When I say review, I'm referring to Wattpad's commenting and rating features, which I'll discuss in more detail later in this video. But essentially, they allow readers to place comments at specific points throughout a shared story. As stories are added to Wattpad, it creates a vast digital library that can be explored via keywords. When users find a story they like, they can add it to their own personal library within Wattpad. Some of the key functions of Wattpad to consider when incorporating it into web-based learning tools are the adaptive commenting function, which allows for feedback if using this tool as a form of assessment, and also as a collaborative editing tool if using Wattpad to create short stories. The rating feature, which can similarly be used as an assessment tool, and finally, the ease of navigation through Wattpad's vast digital library, which will help users find content specific to their interests. Wattpad's strengths as a web-based learning tool come from the integration of instructional design theories and learning principles into its framework. The first theory is learner control, which refers to providing users the ability to regulate instruction, whether that is sequence, pace, flow, amount, and even topic. Within Wattpad, users can search and filter stories by category as well as regulate the pace at which they explore each story. The next theory is connectivism, which posits that learners gain knowledge by making connections between personal learning networks that are accessed via internet technologies. Within Wattpad, learners benefit from the ability to use internet technologies to share their short stories and interact with a vast digital library. Finally, collaboration theory states that students learn socially through interactions like negotiation and sharing while co-creating knowledge. Within Wattpad, the commenting and editing features foster collaboration by connecting users to an authentic audience who can provide feedback on posts. In this next section, I'm going to open up Wattpad and show you how to navigate this learning tool. So this is the home page of Wattpad, and we have two options. We can discover or create. So if we, if we select create, um, we can create a new story. And once you click that, this will open up and you have the option to add in a title, a description. You can add tags, which will make your story discoverable. You can select a genre for your category to be added to, a language, and then provide a rating. Now, my advice to educators is to be mindful and make your students aware of these ratings um, so that they're selecting uh, stories that are appropriate for the classroom. So if I want to come back to this, I can click skip. And then this takes me to the actual writing part where I can have, you know, different sections of my story and then add in the actual text. Once I'm happy with my story, I can preview it and publish it or I can save it and come back to it at a later point. So we're just going to back out of here and now explore the discover function. So if I click this drop down arrow beside discover, I can search for stories by genre. So I'm going to click action and then fiction. Once I find a story that catches my eye, let's say the last chance, I can see that the story has been viewed 1.1 million times. It's received roughly 34,000 ratings and 34 comments. I click read to open it up. And this is the commenting feature I was talking about that can be used as an editing tool. So if I decide that there's an issue in this paragraph or I want to let the author know uh, something about this specific paragraph, I can click here and actually add a comment that will be tagged right beside that paragraph. I can also see other comments that other uh, individuals have left throughout the story. There's also general comments at the bottom and places for, for voting. Lastly, if I decide that I really like this story, I can click this plus icon up here and add it to my own library with Wattpad. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time.